You wake up in the morning and decide you want to start a YouTube channel and make videos on your PS4 because you have great ideas for videos and have a lot of time. So you learn how to make videos on PS4, look up how to get views, get ready to record, and you forgot to add music. Let's fix that, shall we? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? We'll get to that later. So the first thing that you're going to need to add music on Share Factory is a USB and a laptop. There is a way to do it without either of those, but it's not recommended and won't sound that good. So step number one that you're going to do is find the song you want to use on YouTube, and you're going to search this on your laptop. So just go to YouTube, type in whatever song you want to use, and then go to the description and hit copy link. The second step is to open a new tab. The website I use is called EasyMP3Converter.com. The next thing you're going to want to do when you find your website is to paste the YouTube URL into the search bar and then it's going to pop up with the video that you chose and you're going to want to try to download it at the highest quality if it gives you an option but, but some websites don't have that option so just choose the highest quality if it allows but if it doesn't allow then just download the video. Just a little caution tip, don't click any links that pop up on the website that doesn't have to do with downloading. Don't click any of them because they probably have viruses that it's going to install onto your computer. So just don't trust any links that's not the website. Once you know you've downloaded this onto your computer, you're going to want to go into your USB and then double click, hit new, and then hit folder. This folder has to have a very specific name, otherwise ShareFactory won't recognize it, so I'm going to have it on the screen right now. So once you make the folder that name, you're going to want to go into that folder, double click again, hit new, hit folder, folder. This folder also has to have a very specific name, so I'm going to have the name on screen now. Once you've created that folder, it's now time to go to downloads again, and then click and drag into your USB, then drag it into the music folder, and that's all you need to do for your laptop. Once you have that all done, double click on your USB and hit eject so the song saves on your laptop. What you're going to want to do with your USB when you take it out of your laptop is you're going to want to plug it into your PS4 and then if you don't have a project created like I have, you're going to want to go to new project. I already have a project so you can either create new project, come over here, select a theme, just unselect all of these except one start it and then do it from there or if you have a project you're already working on just hit my last project what you're going to want to do after that is you're going to want to go to add music and then import from USB it's going to load music tracks that's how you know it recognizes your USB and it should pop up with the song that you just put in your USB or songs that you just put into your USB in this entire list what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select a song so let's just select one right here. Once you select a song, hit square for import selected. It's going to import the song so you can click on it and put it into your video. After you imported the song, you're going to want to hit X and then you'll now have your desired song choice into your video. And you'll even have your own little edit music thing right here. So you can come over here, split music, you can clone the music again have the music fade in, fade out, you can move the music if you have a longer video, you can trim the music, you can delete the music, you can lower the music volume down, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it and it sounds very good just like this. But we're not done yet. Remember that car crash at the beginning of the video? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? We'll get to that later. Yeah, you might run into some common problems with that. So here's some fixes for those problems that I have done personally. The first fix to a common issue is that it won't recognize your USB because it's not plugged in all the way. So if it's not recognizing your USB, you might just want to wedge it a little bit and it might recognize the USB if the cover's too big for the USB. If you know for sure that it's plugged into the PS4 all the way, you might need to unplug it and check the file names to make sure the file names are correct and it's not the wrong name. Another fix is to check that the song that you downloaded you turned into an MP3 file and not an MP4. 
An MP3 file is a file for music and an MP4 file is a file for video. So try not to get that mixed up and make sure you download it in an MP3 file. The last fix I have for you is to make sure that you saved it onto your USB and you didn't just unplug your USB from your computer without hitting eject. Because if you don't hit eject on the USB, it will not save this on, so it won't be on your list when you plug into your PS4. If you do not have a USB or a laptop, there is another way to add music onto SureFactory, but it's not recommended, and I've done this in the past, and trust me, it doesn't sound that good. If you do not have a USB or a laptop, another thing that you can use is your phone and your headset. It's the only option you have, though. Then find the song on your phone, just on YouTube or whatever it is. Then come over here and press X, and then come over here to add track 2. Get ready to play the song on your phone, but don't start playing it yet. Then you're going to want to come over here to record audio, and then you're going to want to press record audio when you have the song on your phone and you're ready to record. It's going to count down from 5 to 0, and once it hits 0, it's going to start recording. So as soon as it hits zero, start playing the song on your phone and put it up to the mic. Not too close, but just have it up close to the mic. Once you're finished recording the audio, you're going to want to press X to stop recording the audio and then circle to save the audio. You can then just come over here, scroll back, and listen to it back. And it's not going to sound that good, but if that's the only option that you have, then go for it. That was how to add music on Share Factory. Click on the left if you want to see one of my videos and click on the right if you want to see one of my playlists.